So I'm only just beginning to get my head around this, but understanding source perspective and why are we experiencing all this contrast? So essentially, a source had an idea of separation, which came from the thought of I. Not I as, as a whole, but as an individual, separate from the rest, which implies that there is going to be an other or others. So in a physical human incarnation, there is the mind. Some people call it the mind. Other people call it the ego. And there's a lot of debate about nuances and, and stuff like that. But essentially, uh, for the sake of convenience, let's, uh, let's call it the ego mind, the ego dash mind. And, you know, Eckhart Tolle uses the same term in his books. So, um, for the sake of, um, syncretism, let's just call it the ego mind. So the ego mind and its uh, posse of thoughts and emotions create this sense of an individual isolated island called I or me. And then you have this which is already based in the ego mind, plus the body, which obviously looks completely different to other bodies. And there you have separation. Or another word for separation is duality. So, from the perspective of source, everything is one. There is only one. But the purpose for a physical human incarnation is to experience a duality um, as if it were real. Why? Um, just for fun. Or because there was a, a sensation of boredom. And boredom is the doorway to creativity or creation. So if the ultimate reality or truth is non-duality or oneness, then this experience we are currently in, in this life, uh, is meant to be as a creation, as an experience of self or I and other or you. So how does one explain evil? Well, Source had an idea of uh, the most profound, unspeakable evil imaginable. Uh, just for the sake of contrast and knowing what it is not. So even the most evil people like uh, you know, Stalin or Bill Gates, that's still an idea from source in order for it to experience its opposite or contrast. 
So in the original state of oneness, um, the overall sensation is uh, bliss, uh, joy, love, unconditional acceptance, uh, acceptance. And so what is the opposite of that? And in that ultimate state of oneness, there's also eternity and, uh, you know, knowledge or wisdom. So the opposite is, of course, ignorance, um, being in time or temporality, um, and, uh, and, you know, the opposite of bliss is uh, what people call suffering. So to experience the opposite is to know who we really are in our original state, which is eternal, uh, you know, wisdom that is, you know, blissful. And the reason why we're here is because, well, we wanted to take a break from eternity, really, and, and experience this, this, this duality, this, uh, this contrast, you know, just for kicks, you know, call it, call it an experiment, you know, or, um, we're at our, our happiness, we are, we are at our happiest or our most blissful, usually as children, you know, and kids love to play. So in a sense, uh, our true nature is, is actually playful or, you know, experimental or uh, explorative or adventurous and say, you know, why not? You know, why not be something different? Why not shake things up a bit? and come down as a bad guy, or a good guy, or just a leaf, or an animal, or you get the picture. So, yeah, that, that's uh, one thing that that's starting to make sense, really, in terms of why we are here, and what's this whole game about really so uh, and it's so easy to get caught up in in the game of duality because most people experience you know the ego mind with the thoughts and the emotions which drive their actions and and uh, kind of determine their identity as well people identify with it and it's okay to identify as uh, the character or role you came to play because we're we're here for a reason otherwise we wouldn't be here so um, on the one hand it's important to to recognize you know who we are true nature but also play the role like a method actor would and and you know, get lost in it. It's um, including, ideally, uh, it would be ideal to include both perspectives, you know, see both perspectives. But most people are actually identified with the ego mind and the thoughts and the emotions and, 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 the, and the body, and that's it. So ideally, um, when, when someone... Well, awakens or remembers who they are, then you can really begin to to play with being human instead of just identifying with it and and suffering. Because once you see the bigger picture you realize actually suffering is a choice, you know. Um so there we go. Anyway, um, hope that's been helpful. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.